Hey guys, as I film this, it is currently May. Been in quarantine in our houses now for about, I guess, two months. Today should have been sunny gray bobblehead day at the Reds game. Absolutely gorgeous weather for the game. It's a shame that the game and pretty much half the season so far has had to be postponed. Uh, but I didn't, that did not deter me from getting a bobblehead. The Reds Hall of Fame, they give out bobbleheads throughout the season. And this year's bobblehead, the first one was of Paul Derringer. So you had to like buy a voucher online and make an appointment to pick up the bobbleheads. So I picked mine up yesterday when I got off work. So without any further ado, let's unbox this thing and see how it looks. So here we got a picture of the bobblehead on the front. It says Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame. There's a picture of what the bobblehead looks like. Uh, this side uh, says Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and a little bit about Dinsmore, the uh, sponsor of the bobblehead. Uh, here we got a picture of Derringer and a little bit about his career with the Reds. And on this side, we have the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and Museum plaque with the old Reds logo at the top. Uh, the bottom is just white red, and the top says Dinsmore with an old school Cincinnati Reds C in the middle. Uh, so, yeah, uh, yesterday was the uh, day I went to pick up my bobblehead from the Reds Hall of Fame. Um, originally, they were, I mean, this was like a couple months ago, and when, I mean, when they shut down, they said they're going to open up and see if they could possibly uh, start giving out tours, I guess in the uh, month of May. Um, obviously that has not happened, so you gotta make these appointments to pick up your bobbleheads. I'm assuming they're gonna do that for the rest of the year, or ho hopefully not the rest of the year, but as long um, as everything's kinda like in shutdown mode, um, I guess we'll be doing that until all the other bobbleheads are released. Uh, so let me get out the Derringer bobblehead out of the styrofoam, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, looks on the front of the box, looks like um, AGP, Bobble Dobbles made this one, and they make, they've been making the Reds Hall of Fame Museum bobbleheads the last couple years. Really, really good quality. I wish the Cincinnati Reds team would go back to AGP, because I think the quality that their bobbleheads are is just like second and none. Um, and this one is no exception. So Paul Derringer, there he is. Looks really, really cool. He's got his name in white letters on the red base with the Dismore sponsorship black. The top is metallic looking. It says Reds Hall of Fame. Uh, the bottom has the gold AGP Bobble Dobble sticker. Got his number on the back, number 25, is in his pitching motion. And uh, yeah, there's his glove hand. Got the uh, white red hat with the blue bill and the plain white uniforms which are really sharp. This is cool. I would not mind seeing the Reds do this for a throwback game. Last year they had a bunch of throwback unis. I would not mind them seeing them bringing this back uh, for a couple games. Um, if not this shortened season, next year hopefully the owners and the players can come to an agreement and just get baseball going again. Uh, but yeah, there is the Paul Derringer Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame and Museum bobblehead. The first Reds bobblehead for my collection of 2020. Glad this one is finally in my collection. Uh, so far, two bobblehead games have had to be canceled. There was a triple bobble of Suar I think it was Suarez. Uh, Ted Klazuski and uh, maybe George Foster, I can't remember. It was a triple bobblehead that was going to be given out back in April. And then Sonny Gray, he was supposed to have his Reds bobblehead game today. Hopefully they can distribute those maybe during later during the season or sell them or something. So us bobblehead fanatics can get our hands on those. But here is the uh, Paul Derringer bobblehead. Hopefully the Reds Hall of Fame can go forward with the rest of the bobbleheads they have planned. So I can get those in my collection as well. Oh anyway, yeah, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, feel free to get a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Check out my website, cincyfanzone.blogspot.com. And give me a follow on Twitter and on Instagram. Both those are at cincyfanzone. Links to all that is in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.